okay after responding to um, the police and on the 8th of May and um, sending him in that I got this here dated on the 30th of May um, I refer to your correspondence requesting a court hearing police one attached no disappearing it's a standard cover sheet um, they've supplied the preliminary information I, I've quoted section 13.1 of the Criminal Disclosure Act 2008. Um, this is actually section 12.1, so this is just the preliminary stuff, which is your charging document, um, pre-photo, those sorts of things. They give you a notice of hearing, okay, and they're saying, I drove it on the Northwestern Motorway State of Highway 16 at a speed exceeding a temporary speed limit of 80 kilometers per hour, being an offense detected by an approved vehicle surveillance equipment. Okay. <clears throat> they haven't answered my question as to whether it was a stationary camera or a van. Um, they've supplied me a still shot, um, but that doesn't actually show any evidence of speeding. It's a still shot. I'm not moving. Um, it's got some numbers up the top, but I don't know how accurate they are. Um, they say it was a temporary speed limit. I'm kind of curious on that one because they've supplied no evidence to support the fact that it was a temporary speed limit. Just a photo. Um, so, yeah, that's scheduled for the 13th of July at 1 o'clock in the afternoon at Auckland District Court, courtroom 5, level 2. Um, they sent me a copy of my email to the tickets. Um, that's please find attached to my response, which I'll click pictures in for everyone to see. Righto guys, so this is the correspondence that I've had so far with uh, the Ministry of Justice or uh, the Auckland District Court on the 15th of June. I sent to them to whom it may concerns, reference number, the court reference number. Police findings attached a copy of the correspondence to New Zealand Police Prosecutions sent for your records today. This matter is scheduled for 13th of July 1pm. Could you please supply the courtroom and name of the presiding JP in this matter? Notice. All correspondence, hearings, matters shall be recorded and published on multiple forums for maximum accountability and transparency in accordance with rights expressed within New Zealand Bill of Rights 1990, Section 14. Warm regards, me. After not hearing any response whatsoever from Auckland District Court for two weeks, I then sent them a chase up. Um, Hi Fiona. Now what I did is I went onto the Auckland District Courthouse website and I looked up who was the court services manager for the criminal side of things? Yes, a speeding ticket is a criminal offence. It's not a civil matter. So, as I got no response, I went online. I found that there actually is no court services building manager um, at the moment for Auckland District Court because I actually have a job vacancy out there. Um, so I found... Uh, another woman by the name of Fiona, um, her email, who was head of the family and civil jurisdictions, as they put it, and I sent her this. Hi Fiona, I sent this two weeks ago and have not had a response from Auckland District Court. As it would appear, there is no service manager present uh, presently, given the vacancy listed, and I applied a link to their vacancy. Please advise or direct me to who can answer my questions. Question one, what courtroom is court reference number blah 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 being heard in? Two, who will be the presiding judicial officer with regards to this matter? And a bonus question three, do, you have, uh, do we have the right to keep an independent record of this hearing being a party to the proceedings? Please confirm receipt of the attached PDF, which is just a copy of the letter that I sent the um, police prosecutions. Notice. All correspondence, hearings, matters shall be recorded and published on multiple forums for maximum accountability and transparency in accordance with rights expressed within the New Zealand Bill of Rights Act 1990 And then another notice, failure to respond within seven days shall constitute a tacit agreement that there is no objection to recording the proceedings around this matter, nor the exercising of rights expressed within the Bill of Rights section uh, 1990 section Warm regards me. Um, then I sent... Uh, uh, sorry. <clears throat> then I got a response from Fiona Parks. 
Good afternoon, I am the manager for Auckland Central Civil and Family Jurisdictions, so I am just making inquiries about who is the appropriate services manager is. For the Auckland Criminal Services team would be, and I will pass your email to them. Once I find out who is who, who the correct contact is, I will copy you into this email also. Thanks Fiona. That's brilliant. Beautiful service. Love it. Um, after that, sorry, don't mind me. Then she sent this uh, to a Patricia Deacon. Hi there, I am told your team looks after the Auckland District Court generic email. Can you please follow up on the below and ensure that this email gets to the appropriate staff member? Wouldn't be because I put a value notice on it. And that was from Fiona to um, Patricia. And then um, I get an email from Georgina Dawson. Good afternoon, Mark. My apologies that you have not had a response sooner. I need to apologise. In regards to your questions, this matter will be heard in courtroom 5 at the Auckland District Court on level 2. The Justice of the Peace presiding are not currently allocated for this hearing. If you wish to inquire closer to the time, feel free to contact me. You are welcome to keep an independent record through personal notes of the proceedings. Should you wish for formal transcripts or access to court documents, you will need to make a formal request. If you have any further queries, please do not hesitate to contact me. I always have further queries and I have no problem contacting anyone. And then my response to Georgina is... Good afternoon, Georgina. Thank you for answering my questions to your ability. What day would be good to re-inquire as to the identity of the presiding justices? We appreciate your suggestion to take written notes. However, we will most likely wish to record this matter digitally. As, it is, as I am not the best at fast handwriting and will most likely be wishing to give the matter at hand my full attention. Past experiences with acquiring district court transcripts has proven difficult and taken months to acquire and the accuracy of what is written within those transcripts provided and what was actually said was and is quite disturbing. Needless to say inaccurate. Therefore, my trust and confidence in your suggestions fall short. We shall be requesting transcripts, of course, as to complete our records. We gave notice in prior correspondence to Auckland District Court that we shall be exercising our rights expressed within the Bill of Rights Act 1990, Section 14. See here, and I gave her a link to it. We consider digitally recording the proceedings to be the most accurate form to gather and receive the court's opinions and information. Now, I've used those words because in the actual Bill of Rights Section 14 it says that you can gather, receive, impart opinions and information. And if you look up in New Zealand Butterworth's Law Dictionary what information is, one, it's classed as knowledge, two, it's classed as actual summary judgment offences, information in regards to court matters. So of course I'm going to exercise my rights to gather that information. Should there be a lawful, valid reason as to why this right affirmed is prohibited or infringed upon, please specify. Should any judicial officer choose to author an acknowledgement for myself to sign under duress and protest and threat of contempt, as has happened in the past, I shall review such. Should any judicial officer choose to issue an order for removal of any video off of any website that we have administration of, costs shall be incurred. Please find notice of fee schedule attached.
I also ask whether the presiding judicial officer is a member of the Auckland JP Association. Thanks very much, Georgina. Warm regards, me. And Georgina's response to me was, um, Good afternoon. Your queries have been received and are currently being reviewed by a judicial officer. You shall receive further correspondence as soon as possible. Kind regards, Georgina. And that was yesterday, so basically my questions about re recording digitally inside the courtroom, as it's a right to exercise, I'm not requesting permission, I'm exercising a right, and I'm asking them to show me good reason as to why I can't exercise that right. Okay, so here is the letter that I sent on the 8th of May, oh uh, sorry, that I sent on the 15th of May to the New Zealand Police Prosecution Service. To whom it may concern, court record number CRN 1700 417 6889. We thank you for your correspondence which we received on the 6th of June with regards to the above CRN. On the 8th of May, we offered a conditional acceptance provided evidence of claim, evidence of authority and evidence of jurisdiction could be established. We received a still shot photograph of our property. However, we did not receive any reply to the 21 questions asked. Please supply evidence of claim, authority and jurisdiction without any further delay as we wish to make a fully informed plea. Furthermore, in accordance with Section 13.1 of the Criminal Disclosure Act 2008, we require any and all proficiency certificates relevant to the operator of the detection device, certificate of accuracy for the detection device used on the day in question, license status, instrument of authority, deployment registrar, daily logbook, notes made at the time of this matter, summary of facts, demerit list, previous history, witness list, evidence supporting temporary speed restriction on that date. Notice all correspondence will be recorded and published on multiple forums for maximum transparency and accountability in accordance with rights expressed within the New Zealand Bill of Rights 1990 section 14. Notice, failure to respond within 10 days shall constitute a tacit agreement that New Zealand Police have failed to produce evidence of jurisdiction, evidence of claim and evidence of authority with regards to the above allegation. Kind regards me. And of course, I um, I put my given names, then I put the Sisteki Trust, then Thumbprint, because I'm a living, breathing man, only they have that thing, uh, and just for them, the, the personal profile number that the police already have in relation to that person. So, that's what I sent them. So I've had no response from the police prosecution now in 16 days in regards to that letter. The Auckland District Court have a copy of that letter on file, or at least it's been sent to them, and they've acknowledged it. So, now we're just sorting out the recording in public. Um, hello, puss. You love to get in the middle of things. So, yeah, now we're just sorting out the uh, recording in public place, and whether or not I'm going to be uh, obstructed from exercising that right. Um, it would be for them to do so. Um, they've been warned, as you guys, if you've followed the one back in um, 19th of May 2015, when Justice of the Peace Selwyn Hayworth, who is currently the president of the Auckland JP Association, and the judge looking over this is colleague, um, he authored an acknowledgement by using my name with six points and forced me to sign it, which I did with without prejudice under duress and protest. Um, he refused to allow me to have legal consult on the document that he had me signed. Um, he handed it to me, authored it that day, had me sign it and give it back to him. Otherwise, I was going to be arrested for contempt. So, um, as far as the transcripts are concerned, the reasoning as to why I don't trust him, I was there that day. I know what was said, but whenever there's something like the prosecution throwing an objection in, it just says prosecution objection. And then when you start talking again, it's fine. The whole legal discussion or legal argument that's happening during that objection doesn't get noted anywhere. And that's the important stuff, because they're objecting. You want to hear why and, and the reasonings behind it, but that's not on the transcript. And the transcript is really only what the JP 
Well, there's usually two JPs. There's one guy here in the case, and then there's this bitch beside him taking notes. And you're only as good as how good that guy can take the notes. So why would I leave the records of proceedings and information that has to do with me up to some generally silver-haired idiot that, that can't write very fast because they're always telling you to stop so they can catch up writing. I mean, this is a digital age, people, and I'm not being antiquated. So, yeah, they can either keep up or miss out. Anyway, we'll see you on the day. If uh, anything else eventuates between now and then with regards to the recording, I'll try and post that up before the day, but if not, I'll be there with bells on. Oh, and as a side note, I um, that's on the 13th, is my case. On the 7th, at the same court, I uh, am actually going to cover another man's court case that I've been following now for a few months. Um, I've been there twice already in regards to that one, so it's just handy that I'm actually going to be at the courthouse less than a week before. So I'm going to be able to chase them up personally, possibly with the camera going, just to see what's going on. Alright, see you then. Bye guys.